us. His voice barely audible. It attempted to be commanding and stern, but instead weak and shaken. He holds himself against the doorframe, staining it in a lavender blood tone. The dice kept himself up straight, staring at his fear, the devil himself. His knees weak, shaking upon his nerves, as only his shattered arms holding him upright. Nimble, showing his frame, usually menacing and sly. He begins to look up at his boss on his throne. Dice glanced away before he made eye contact with him. The devil's expression, his fur gray and stormy, his horns tall and slanted, adding more to his expression. He was in anger to others, but truly terror stained in his gaze. He spoke, his voice echoed across the walls as he heard Dice clearly. Come in. His eyes glued on Dice, his gaze brought him down. Dice limped forward, his foot dragging against the marble matching floor. His hands gripped harshly on his blood-splattered waist, and the blood soaking his suit to a darker stain spreading further down his hips, trailing to it down his thigh. Dice's pure white gloves, now matching the color splattered against the doorframe, trailing further and further to the floor. His footing dragged, smearing the purple blood across the marble polished floor. His eyes switched for a moment, ragged and plain, before blending to a green-tinted gaze as power attempted to search through him. The boss stared down upon his throne of gold and riches. Seemingly, the fur-colored boss remained quiet, long stare over dice. Time dragged on through this moment. Only if he could freeze just a bit longer. Symp sympathetic at first, before shaking his head in shame. The moment has seemed forgotten. Removing himself from the throne as his steps grew close to the dice. His steps echoed, strong and fierce, hiding his gentle gaze. He stops. A shadow creeped over dice as the devil towers over him. His gaze blank and emotionless. Dice peered down to the floor, holding his head against the pillar he holds himself on, turning himself away from the terrible beast, preparing for pain to be inflicted on him. The dice's eyes sh shut tightly, showing his weakness against him, afraid of what was to come. The fur devil looked down at his feet. His claws clenched, preparing for himself what he must do. He watched as glistening droplets dripped down from Dice's face, falling to the ground and mixing with the blood that was once shattered in the puddle. Dropping his gaze, his shoulders were yet relaxed before the voice was heard from him. What did we do to get to this point, Dice? Thank you.